Whether you're new to baking or you're just looking to improve your skills, you've come to the right place. Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. Liz is me and we've got more than just a recipe today, we've got a masterclass. Everything you need to know about buttercream and a few tips and tricks I've learned along the way. So let's start at the beginning. There are several different types of buttercream. Some you may have heard of and some you may not have. And which one you choose to use will depend on what you choose to use it for. And if, like me, you live somewhere that has dramatic temperature changes throughout the year, you might change what you use depending on the season. And to keep things simple, we're starting with American buttercream. It's perfect for beginners because it's hard to make a mistake, and if you do happen to make a mistake, it's really easy to fix. Your butter should be soft, but not melted. But if it does happen to melt, pop it in the fridge and let it cool down. But if your butter is too cold, it won't whip quite as easily, so I normally leave mine out overnight. It should be spreadably soft. While you can make buttercream without an electric mixer, it's much faster and easier and much more enjoyable if you use one. And you can find a full list of ingredients in the description. By whipping the butter first, it makes it much easier for the other ingredients to blend thoroughly with the butter. And this will give you a much more consistent flavour and texture. As you whip, you'll notice that the butter loses a lot of its colour and turns more of an off-white. This is called aeration. Don't forget to scrape your bowl now and then, so you don't miss any of the butter at the bottom of the bowl. No matter what you're making, it's important to learn to recognise what your mixture should look and feel like at every stage. And this is how you learn to know if something's wrong. Once everything is smooth and pale, it's time for some vanilla and some salt. Generally speaking, it doesn't matter what type of vanilla you choose to use as long as it's compatible with the type of mixture that you're making. For example, today I'm using vanilla bean paste because it blends more thoroughly with the butter. But no matter whether it's essence, extract, paste or bean, it's up to you. Next, we're adding our icing sugar, but we're going to do it in stages. Along with sifting your icing sugar, adding it in stages and mixing it between each stage helps it to remain smooth. And texture is a main feature of good quality buttercream. Not just for when you're icing, but when you're piping especially. Use a wooden spoon or a spatula to fold your icing sugar into your butter. If you do this before going back to the electric mixer, you won't have a plume of dust coming up from the icing sugar. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to smash that like button and give me a comment down the bottom to let me know what masterclass you'd like to see next. Mix on a low speed, and take your time. If you add too much air too fast, it'll be hard for the sugar to dissolve. And that's just another thing that's going to affect your texture. Generally speaking, American buttercream is a bit of a calm person's buttercream, mostly because it's a recipe that lacks when you take your time. And on top of that, you can freeze it, so you don't actually have to use it straight away. And to thaw it out, all you really need to do is leave it out overnight. Once you've added all of your icing sugar, it should look a lot more white. And probably my biggest tip, stop adding milk. Use double whipped cream instead. It'll be softer, smoother, still have a really high structure and consistency, it won't weep, and it'll take away some of that extra sweetness that you normally get with buttercream. Don't be afraid to use a teaspoon and taste test your buttercream. After all, if you won't eat it, no one else will either. And lastly, we want to whip it into shape to get it ready for use. And if you're planning on using a piping bag but you have hot hands like my friend Vas, add a teaspoon of cornstarch or cream tartare and that'll increase the stability. It won't stop the buttercream from melting completely, but it will give you more time to work. So if there's anything else you'd like to know about buttercream, leave me a comment and I look forward to seeing you next week.